So check out this footage, Paul Walker, Porsche crash. Check it out. What would you do in this situation? Is that, what car is that? Ferrari, dude. Go, go away, it's gonna blow up. Dude, the guy's in there. He died, go! go drive away, it's gonna blow up! Drive away, drive over there. No, we're fine here, it's not gonna... Dude. It's a tough one, isn't it? You don't know if that fucking Porsche is gonna explode, man. So, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do in that situation? First things first, always unfortunate when someone dies early. Always unfortunate. Fast and Furious, very popular movie series. I, you know, it's good to watch, man, but it's fucking Hollywood, man. Paul Walker's death personifies that. High speed fucking car racing is fucking dangerous, especially on public roads, man. I remember in 1997 doing 240k an hour in my mate's uh, black WRX. And was, it's like you're in a fucking computer game, man. A week later, he fucking rode it off into a tree. So, and no one was hurt, luckily. Sad thing is, I bet some of the fucking directors involved in this series, when they heard the news of the Paul Walker's death, they're thinking, you know what? This is going to fucking boost movie sales. It's going to boost ticket sales. That's how disposable people are in Hollywood, etc. You're disposable. Someone's always there to fill your shoes. That's why it's so cutthroat. Semi-pro sport. If you don't dope, you won't cope. Simple as that. If you don't take it, you won't make it. Bottom line, if you want to fucking race, man, do it on a fucking race track. Full safety gear. Roll bar. Not on a fucking public road, man. It's dangerous. How many kids have died in car crashes after watching Fast and Furious and go fanging in their rotaries or skylines, etc.? How many have died? A fucking lot. A fucking lot. Because kids get inspired. You know, when you're 20, 23, 25, you ain't fucking thinking. You ain't thinking. At all. All you're thinking about is speed pussy. That's all you're thinking about. You ain't thinking about consequences. It's the YOLO generation. You only live once. So, it's unfortunate, man, but I hope this brings perspective to the audience of Fast and Furious. I've got to admit, man, I enjoyed watching this stuff. It's an action movie, but I understand it's not real world. But a lot of kids don't understand that. They get in their cars and go, yeah, fucking, you know, it ain't real world. It ain't real world. So hopefully people can learn. Unfortunate situation. <laughs>